In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a shawarma flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using. You might as well want to download it and practice. And in case you do and you want to send it over you can hit me up on instagram twitter or on tiktok now let's get into photoshop and let's get started all right here in photoshop the first thing we want to create is our canvas this will entirely depend on what you want to create but we are going to use this for social media so let's set our measuring scale to inches input four by four over here and you can increase the resolution to make it more clearer afterwards you can go ahead and click on create all right so the first thing we want to do is we want to create the background to do that you go to your layer adjustment over here and then you are going to add a gradient you can click on your gradient bar and then you can scroll down to set your gradient any colors at all that you want to use for the purpose of this video we are using this color palette and in case you want to use the same thing this is the first one and this is the second one after you're done with this you go ahead you click ok and then you come to the style so you are going to change the style to radial and you're going to click on reverse for the scale depending on how you want it you can leave it like that or better still you can increase it up a little bit so for the case of this video we are going to use 144 and then you go ahead and then you click ok the next thing i want to bring in is an external background that we downloaded from pinterest so you go to file place embedded and then you can bring in your external background so we are going to select this one and you can zoom out a little bit make sure you open it up to fill the entire canvas so you open it up like that any part of this that shows up is fine so you can leave it somewhere around here and then you can right click rasterize the layer you double click on the numbers over here and you can rename it so background so bg1 and you hit on enter now we want this to blend with the background to do that you can use the blend mode so you, you click on the blend mode and then you are going to go through depending on the background that you're using you're going to go through to find the one that matches or that works very well for you so for the purpose of this video the soft light worked so well but you realize that it is still too much so you can use the opacity to decrease it as well so you're going to select your opacity or you left click on the opacity and hold whilst you drag it to the left side this will as well depend on how much you want shown so i can decrease mine to around 40 41 somewhere around here should be fine next up we can bring in our images that is our shawarma so you go to file place embedded and then you can bring in your first image so for the first image you are going to bring this particular one over here this one you transform it very nicely like that and then you can place it somewhere around here let's leave it there let's go back to file place embedded and then we are going to bring in our second shower man. so this one and then we are going to transform that as well and place it slightly somewhere around here and this is good but you realize that this one has a shadow this one doesn't have so right beneath of this one we are going to create a shadow to do that we want the layer underneath of this one so we select the layer right beneath it you come to the bottom part and then we can click on this one that says create a new layer once you do that you can choose your brush to make sure that you right click and set the hardness to zero percent and make sure that your foreground color here is also black so that you can paint around or underneath of this one you need to take your time because this when done too much can be overexposed so you can take your time and do it like that a little slightly like that you don't need to make it too much ah you see how it is so soft because we set the hardness to zero percent let's assume that hardness was 100 percent this is how it would have looked like you don't want it this way that is why you need to set your hardness to zero percent before you do the brushing okay and even furthermore if after this it looks too much you can use the opacity to control it so that it looks very i wouldn't say realistic but it looks very clean okay because <laughs> of course this one is not realistic okay now we can select these three 
by holding shift and selecting all and then press ctrl g to group them so that it becomes one you can then press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered and since they are all in the same group you can press ctrl t and transform it together open it up slightly like that and then you can bring it down over here because you're going to put some text right on top here now this looks too plain so let's spice it up with some more shawarma okay so on top of this one we go to file again and then you are going to place embedded we are going to choose this beautiful shawarma background you double click on that you can open it up slightly like that so this is actually going to serve as a kind of background and an effect on the shawarma that we just posted okay but then look at something here we want it to blend with the shawarma and the background at the same time but if you leave it like its color the actual color right over here and you blend it in it is going to be overly exposed right something like this isn't something we are looking for so what you can do is you can right click rasterize the layer press ctrl shift and then u and then it is going to desaturate it what this does basically is that it takes off all the colors so that once you blend it in it is going to assume the colors that you are using already i hope that makes sense once you've desaturated all that now you can go ahead and blend it in so you go to the blend mode and then you are going to select your blending option or the blend mode that you want to use so we are going to use the soft light over here now this looks good but it looks too hard at the background so let's soften it a little bit to do that we we'll go to filter blur and then gaussian blur over here so that it can be softened a little bit like that okay so you play around with your gaussian blur like that depending on how you want it and then you can go ahead and click ok once you get the figure that you want but the bottom part here looks too solid so what you can do is you can add a layer mask to it to get rid of that so you add your layer mask choose your brush tool you can increase it with a square bracket and then you can start painting off the part that looks too solid so that it can blend in with the background now we want the shawarma to stand out we want the background to also stand out so what we can do here is we can make one more duplicate so that it looks a bit more darker from the background so that the shawarma can also separate itself so you make a duplicate ctrl j if it feels like it's too dark for you you can also reduce the opacity slightly like this so that you're going to have something like this and now we can go ahead and add our test so we are going to choose our test tool the first test that we're going to use is the favorite of this channel poppins you choose the poppins medium or poppins mode for the heading and then you can type your heading over here so just for context this is an actual flyer that i designed for eclipse paper and lounge located at Incrofo takradi you can double click on the test it looks too closed up because it is minus 100 over here so you are going to select this one and set it to around minus 40 and this looks too light so let's go for semi bold over here and you can check that over here you press ctrl a and then you can center it and position it up right up like that so eclipse special and then the next test is going to come right beneath of it so you press ctrl j drag it to the bottom part and then you are going to edit the but this time around you're going to use a font called century gothic okay you're not going to use the regular we're going to use the bold here and then you can paste your test so shawarma like that now this for this we can change it to minus 100 you press ctrl t and then you can open it up like that it is a center of attraction so it needs to be so big okay but this is too big let's reduce it slightly like that you press ctrl a and then you make sure that it is centered and that means we can even select this group press ctrl t and open it up a little like that preferably i would want this to be underneath of the eclipse so that the a will be gone okay let's see how that one works so let's bring the shawarma underneath of the eclipse so that yes i think this looks a little this looks more better okay so what we can do next from here is we make a duplicate of the shawarma press ctrl t to transform it right click and then you are going to flip it vertical we are going to create a, like just a little bit of shadow okay so you are going to drag it down over here i don't know if that actually worked it didn't work so let's make it again ctrl t right click and flip vertical okay that's fine and then you are going to make sure that it matches with its counterparts or its partners in crime 
and then you are going to reduce the opacity of this one this is just a basic a very basic way of creating shadows now if you want to go a step further you can rasterize this layer type and then add a layer max to it so that you can brush off the parts that is affecting the shawarma and we are done with the test for the upper part next up we want to add the prices so for the prices we are going to create three separate rounded rectangles so we go for the rounded rectangle from here select your rounded rectangle now i've always told you that the rounded rectangle is entirely dependent on the radius that is set so if you have a hundred radius this is how your rounded rectangle will look like which is too round so we want to keep it around say 60 percent and let's see what we can have so we can have something like this something like a square okay but this time the edges are just round okay so we are going to have one like this and then let's give it a color you double click on the layer thumbnail over here and then you can choose your colors right from these ones so the colors has to be something that is blending with the colors we are using so let's go for the first color from here let's make it a bit yellow this is fine press ctrl j to make a duplicate and then this one is going to be a bit bigger okay so let's make it a bit bigger like that so this is going to have a different color let's choose the greens greens light greens so somewhere around here oh no that is going to be in the middle so let's give it something orange so let's go somewhere around here and go to this part so we can finally settle on this one okay so we click ok and then we are going to make a duplicate of this one drag it to the extreme right side and for this one you can go around here somewhere light green light green like that and then we can settle on this one you can then go ahead and click ok but i feel like these ones are too big so what we can do is we can select the three press ctrl t and close it up slightly remember i said we wanted it in a form of like a square but this time around it is just going to be round with round edges with these three selected you go to layer distribute and you say distribute horizontally so that the spaces in here will be fine but it is too close so let me open it this one up here and this one up here select the three again go to layer distribute and distribute horizontally okay and now we can press ctrl g to group that but right on top of this we are going to put the prices over there and for this test we are going to still maintain the regular gothic so you know right straight into a shape don't forget that rule so you're going to hold shift and then you left click to create your test and you're going to paste your first price so this is going to be the regular you press ctrl t and then you can transform it slightly like that Make sure that it fits into this one so you can zoom in this time around press ctrl t transform again and then you position it right over here okay now we can make the same duplicate onto this one but realize that it is not here so we can take it up on top of it and we are going to edit this one to eclipse jumbo so this is going to be the bigger price okay that is why i had to make the rounded rectangle bigger okay i hope you get the concepts now and then you can open it up like that and we are going to make a duplicate from this one again Control j drag it to this side but you see it is underneath of the rounded rectangle so you left click and hold and drag it on top and then you are going to edit this to special so the special is going to be 40 cities and you have your prices set now now you can press ctrl t since it is all in the same group you press ctrl t and then you can transform it slightly like that because we have some information to put underneath and then you can press ctrl a and center it and push it up a little bit as well right underneath of it we are going to add our contact details so that's going to be simple you go and choose your rounded rectangle again this time you're going to create a very simple rounded rectangle like that or better still let's make the edges around 30 30 pixels and then we can create something like this okay double click on the layer thumbnail and then you're going to choose a color let's maintain the same color something deeper or even more lighter no i think this is fine click ok let's get rid of this press ctrl a and then you can center it like that but that means that we need to still close this up slightly and even this one is too big as well so let's close it up slightly like that 
okay so inside of this one we are going to put our contact details so still using century gothic you paste your test right over here and then you can select it all and reduce the font size so that it can fit into the rounded rectangle that you created so once you get it to the size you want you press ctrl a and then you can center it and you take your time to position it like that you can select the two by holding ctrl press ctrl g to group it and you can transform it to make it a bit smaller so ctrl t to do that press ctrl a and then you center it we are going to make a duplicate of this order now ctrl j you bring it down you can select it all and then you paste this one as well delivery available let's make that one bold and let's change the font back to poppins and this time around semi bold and for this one you're going to transform it make it a bit smaller like that and you're going to open up the tracking to delivery available and then you can press ctrl t and transform it make it a bit smaller press ctrl a and then you can center it now it's time to add the location so for the location you're going to put it somewhere around here so you select your ellipse tool sorry this one ellipse tool right over here you hold shift and you create a very perfect circle around here you're going to decrease the opacity way low like that and then you make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j this time around you're going to transform it by pressing ctrl t slightly like that and then put it somewhere around here and this one you can increase the opacity a little bit and inside of this you are going to put your location so as i mentioned earlier this is for eclipse pay they are located in, in control so you left click and hold and then you are going to paste your test over here we are using poppins semi bold for this as well and then you can take your time and position it very neatly like that let's decrease this opacity some more zoom in select your location again and then you can take your time and position it now we just need to bring in the location icon so you go to file place embedded and then you can bring in your location icon from png wing as well you transform it very nicely and then you're going to put it right on top here you press ctrl t and then you can transform it some more and then you take your time to position it you realize this is black black on black no so you right click on the layer you go to blending options and then you can add color overlay to it and change your color to white you then go ahead and click ok ok and then you can group these ones as well and you call it the location so press ctrl t you can transform it slightly it doesn't have to be that big now the last thing we're going to add to this will be some sort of effect for the background so we are just going to come right underneath of the shawarma group the group that we just added and then we are going to add some sort of effect to the background so this is the effect that we are going to add right over here you bring it in here you're going to right click and go to the blending options you go to color overlay and then you can change your color so white is okay you click ok and then you can click ok from here as well you right click on the layer and then you go to rasterize layer style because we want to blend it to the background but if you have layer styles on it it is not going to work okay so what you need to do is you rasterize it once you rasterize it you just have to get rid of the parts that you don't want so we don't want the bottom part here to show so we can add layer marks to it choose our brush tool and then we can brush off the parts that we don't want so up to this point is fine you can also press ctrl t to make sure that it is at the right places that you want it to be okay so once you have that you can then blend it in with the background so you go to the blend mode and then you are going to select the blend mode that works for you so in this case we are going to use overlay but you see it is too soft or faint at the background so we can make one more duplicate and even one more duplicate again so that it's quite solid over there we can make one more duplicate this time around but this this time we just have to drag it to the left side so that it creates that nice effect at the background as well select all of that group it and you can call it the effect as well and yes that is how you create a very eye-catching shawarma flyer for your business or for your client a very big shout out to Eclipse Pay for allowing me to use this for tutorial. And if you are in the virus of Takarade and you need a shawarma or you need to grab a cocktail, we also made a cocktail video with their price list or their menu list. You can check that video out as well. But if you are around Takarade and you need some place to chill, get some pizza, cocktail or shawarma, 
Eclipse Bay is your go-to place. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video. Let me know your thoughts about this. And don't forget that resources will be in the description as well as all the things that I use for this video. If this video was helpful, subscribe to the channel. It will be so very special. Thanks for sticking around to watch this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.